Welcome back. Let's have more functions on two arrays or two matrices, like uh, things like um, addition or finding the maximum or the minimum, and so on and so forth. Uh, like usual, let's create a new notebook. Let's give it a name, maybe um, array functions or array operations. Capital F is up to you. And let's import our friend, import numpy as np. And I think we saw the, the function to generate a, a random array. So it's np dot random. So we have several functions, but rand rand n if we I'm sorry, not rand, rand n, this one here, if we pass it, uh, let's say, 12, it will uh, generate for us a random array with a normal distribution. That's what the n is for the normal distribution. So if we do that, then it should be a normal uh, distribution. I hope uh, uh, you're familiar with, with, with what a normal distribution is. But let's save this. Let's say, for example, array 1 equals this. Um, and one thing we can do here is, for example, if we'd like to, for example, compute the square root for elements of this array, so we can see what these elements look like, uh, what we can do is npy dot, np dot, because we've imported here as np, and then sq, square root of each element of the array, and that should give us a, a new array. This is a negative element, that's why it doesn't have a square root. Uh, Therefore, we have this um, sort of warning, okay? But uh, I'm sure you get the idea. We get a nan for a negative number, right? Not a number. Nan stands for not a number. Um, um, what else can we do here? Maybe we can, instead of um, taking square root, we can use another function to raise to, yeah exponential and then a r r one shift enter and then we get the result hope the idea makes sense let's create another array now so we have a r r one let's do a r r two let's have a look at the elements and now if we'd like to apply uh, a binary operation so on the on the on the on the two arrays one thing we can do is do np dot um, and there's a function called add so if we do shift tab we should be able to read that no do that shift tab adds arguments element wise so we pass it to arrays and it will add them element wise so let's pass it AR1 and AR2, and then it'll give us the result. If we check uh, some other functions like multiply, again, shift tab to get the doc strings, the plus sign to have more detail, and then multiply elements, element, I'm sorry, multiply arguments element wise. Again, it'll multiply the arrays. You know, it'll basically multiply the corresponding elements uh, in the two arrays. Okay, we can have a look at some other functions. If you want, you can have a look at the website, the documentation, there's plenty of information, a large number of functions. Always look here before writing your own, writing your own function because it might be ready for you. Uh, maybe one thing we can find is, for example, um, the minimum. Right, shift tab, and then the doc string tells us that element wise minimum of array elements. So let's find the minimum elements in AR1 and ARR2 in the two arrays, and it'll give us basically it'll compare the first element in array 1 against the first element in array 2 and returns the minimum at that index, and then the second element of array 1 against the second element of array 2 and return the, the smallest in that at that index. I hope the idea makes sense. It's element wise. It does not find 
the smallest element in the entire array but it compares element corresponding elements in the two arrays okay so plenty of interesting things that we can do plenty of already existing functions all we need to do is just to have a look uh, instead of writing them ourselves right let's stop here and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching